Beginning at a young age, my parents registered me for many sporting activities. During elementary school, I enjoyed playing recreational sports like soccer, basketball, and baseball. At an elementary age, sports are less competitive and more focused on fun and allowing young children to try new things. During all of elementary school, I considered myself a skilled athlete and developed a competitive personality. Later in my schooling career, I would begin to notice that I didn't excel in most sports, however. The first time I realized that my skills may not be acceptable to continue on to a higher level occurred when my best friend told me that recreational sports were a joke and most players in those leagues played terribly. He had already been enrolled in a traveling soccer team for three years and swore his club team excelled in skills. Since I had never played in a traveling sport, I began to feel less able to make school sports teams in junior high. As I began middle school, I found myself trying to fit in with my popular peers. I connected popularity with students who shined athletically. In order to be popular, I would have to establish a position on at least one school sport team. So, I decided to try out for the basketball team. After three days of tryouts, the coaches made their final decisions for whom they wanted on their team. One by one, each person was called into a private room to hear if they made the team or not. To my surprise, I did not make the team and I instantly felt embarrassed. How could I fit in with athletes if I wasn't an athlete myself? I remember how hard it was to tell everyone that I did not make the team when they asked me at school the next morning. My parents convinced me to give the middle school recreational league a try. Once again, I was reminded that recreational sports included unskilled players. As time continued on, I struggled to connect with popular kids in my grade. My main reasoning for this was because I did not play on a school sports team, so when spring tennis came around, I decided to give it a try. Everyone made the team regardless of their skill level, but I started to excel compared to most kids in my age group. During my 8th grade year, a few students, including myself, began practicing with the high school team because of our skill levels. Meanwhile, I still dedicated most of my time attempting to become more popular. Throughout all of grade school, I kept one best friend, Blaine, and gained multiple other good friends. For some reason, my steady friends did not seem to be enough. I wanted to be friends with the most popular kids in school. During class periods, I often sat with these popular students, but rarely spent time with them outside of class. Every once in a while, I was invited to hang out with them, but I always felt out of place. I still associated my lack of popularity with the sport I played. Although my talents shined through tennis, I felt that I didn't receive much recognition because tennis was not a mainstream sport. During my junior year of tennis, I played varsity doubles. My partner and I only lost one match during the regular season. However, during state, we played the same team we lost to in the semifinals, and this time we were victorious and earned a trip to the championship. Ultimately, we beat Cheyenne Central and won state. For winning a state championship, hardly any students congratulated me for my accomplishment. At this point, I realized that the reason I didn't relate to the popular kids was not based on athletic ability, rather my personality and interests. My personality was not weak and my interests were not unusual, but they were not the same as the students I strived to fit in with. Most of my life, up until this point, was spent attempting to fit in with a certain group of people that I was never going to relate to due to our conflicting personalities. After coming to this conclusion, I began to care less about what others thought of me and spend more time with my steady friends who stuck with me during all of high school. Reflecting back on my entire grade school experience, I wish now that I wouldn't have spent so much time attempting to fit in with a certain group of students because it made for fewer enjoyable experiences with my real friendships. Deep down, I always knew that these peers showed differences compared to the way I acted, but I used my athletic ability as an excuse for the reason I did not fit in with them. Even if I was the best player in every sport my school offered, my friends would not have changed because they chose to be friends with who I was as a person, not my accomplishments. As a teacher, I plan to teach my students to make friends with their peers that share similar interests. Children should not waste their time trying to fit in with certain social groups just to become the most popular kid in school. Instead, I want my students to be happy with who they are and enjoy the time they spend in school. Popularity will not bring my students happiness if they are not able to show their true personalities to the people who they are around. I will strive to teach my kids the meaning of a true friendship and one that associates with them no matter what sport they play, the way they act, or their interests. After all, developing lifelong friends leads to many more benefits compared to popularity during only grade school.